Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to part 6 of Pokemon Uranium, and cool Miko, you're gonna be lurking. Hello, and hello Crown Jester. Favorite shiny Pokemon? Oh, that's a tough one. Very close choice between shiny Boulder and shiny Gol- Ooh, Golurk's really cool, so is Boulder. Those are really cool shinies. No, those are actually pretty, pretty cool shinies, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna start the stream in one second. One second. See, what about me? What's my... F um, I would guess some of my favorite Chinese, obviously, the evolutions. They have... Most of them have pretty good Chinese. Uh, shiny Charizard, Shiny Venusaur is pretty cool. Uh, I don't like Greninja, but Shiny Greninja is actually quite nice. Uh, let's see. What's some other Shinies? I know some, like, fan game Shinies would be, like... Achilles in this game's pretty cool shiny. Um, some of the evolutions in Uranium got some shiny overhauls, which are pretty nice, to be quite honest. Uh, let's see what else. Shiny Dialga is pretty cool too. Shiny Zagram, Reshiram. Um, the black and white forms. Kyram's kind of mid, but still a nice shiny. Um, obviously my overall favorite shiny is Umbreon, but that's no shocker. Anywho, welcome to the stream. We are at the title screen this time because I forgot for the last couple parts. We have some mystery gifts we can pick up. First, we can pick up the uranium coal, which I have no clue what this does. And we can pick up a Pokemon for chestnut roasting. I have no clue. And we can pick up Leap Day, which we haven't encountered this Pokemon yet, but that looks Absolutely incredible for a sprite. So we're gonna have to um get to the Pokemon at some point to pick that up, because uh, as you know, there's no Pokemon in this town. But welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. In the last part, we got absolutely decimated by the Fire Gym, and by decimated, I mean we lost what like three times. We figured out his Candaconda, Chinconda, however you pronounce it. Um, kept changing genders every time we would rebattle it, and it was kind of weird. Uh, we made it through the forest. Met a super cool bug legendary. Figured out that we could evolve a weak little bug into a bug legendary. Picked up this nice little hop Terra, another one of our maxi users. Definitely one of my favorite when I played it. Gigaret. Yeah! You know, I want it. To use it originally for this team's playthrough because I don't think rock types get a lot of love, and that thing is pretty cool. The problem is, I couldn't pick like between that, Hop Terra. You know, originally I was gonna be using, um, Baranoid instead of, you know, our, say, Blue. So, I've tossed back and forth with what team members I wanted in this playthrough. And, like, I keep bouncing stuff between, because I've used, like, I used, obviously, I've used Buckhalf before. I've never used Nupin. I've used an Achilles in a playthrough. So, like, I've used a good, fair bit amount of this dex, but, like, I used Hop Terra briefly in my first playthrough and ended up Boxing it for Dunsparce's evolution once that came about. Uh, I ended up with Barcalf 2, the first. Uh, my first playthrough, I ended up boxing this eventually too. Never used to say blue, it looked cool and I wanted to use it, but I ended up finding a um, another water type to use. I ended up trading over the um, electric water starter because I couldn't find a good electric type. And I completely forgot about... Nupin and I used Metalinks in the first 
my first playthroughs, so I already had a grass type, so this just wouldn't have fit in my team. And I used Dexter in my second or third playthrough, so I used the Barnoid already, too. But anywho, we are back with Pokemon Uranium. We're going to be swapping Hop Terra to the front because it can use some EXP. We, we got absolutely destroyed by that last gym. We had Amrity Town, and we beat the gym leader, and Theo's waiting at the edge of the town. So we were told, I forget, Pokemon Ranger, I think, told us last time. So we're gonna head to the edge of town. Oh, is it? Do you want to gather all the berries from this tree? Sure? That was weird. Oh, there's Theo. Hey, I beat Sheldon. He was easy. Looks like you already cleared this place out. Oh, whatever, I'll catch up. Bambo came to see me and gave me this HM. Told me to give a copy to you, but I don't want to first. I want to battle. Okay, Theo, that's fine. You know, it's not like we need that HM or anything that Professor Bambo told you to give us. Oh, you have a say blue now, too. That's pretty cool. Uh... Too bad we're probably gonna sweep Moxie if Hopterra can actually withstand a bubble beam, which it cannot in the rain. Okay, nope. Com com completely getting out of there with that. Hopterra, you're not really showing how cool you are. Like, I pumped you up last stream and you're not. Oh, so you get the magnitude 8. You, you get the Magnitude 8, and I'm stuck with Magnitude 6 every time I use it. Cool. Cool, I, I see how you are, game. And... No, we don't need Slash. We have a variety of moves. Oh, you have a Spritzy, too. That's pretty cool. Well, we're gonna get a sunny day going. Ooh, Moonblast. Hmm, Zeta took that pretty well, actually. Get a plus two special attack raise right there. Hopefully not get knocked out by Moonblast. Cool. Let's see if we can get some of our health back. And Zeta almost one shots the Spritzy. About time. This thing should be close to evolving. I think it evolves next level, actually. I think it's 35. I don't know. A lot of things in this game seems to evolve around the mid-30s to 40s. Oh, Heracloon. This is what Luna Pup evolves into. Now, this thing's pretty cool. The problem with this thing is all its great moves come from Luna Pup in the mid 40s. And because it's a stone evolution, you're gonna have a really weak Pokemon until the mid 40s. And it's it's sad because it gets close combat like 43, 44. And it looks cool. It looks cool, but it's just not. It's not intuitive to have it that late in the game like we're only mildly approaching level 35 ooh Zeta flint and we got five badges already so the, you know that that just goes to show you that those late evolutions especially for stone evolution and it can't learn close combat any other way I, I don't understand with this game and move pools Mind you, it was an only RPG maker game back in 2016, so that probably explains it, but... Nice! We got a double level up there! And he sends out his Metal Lynx, which we are absolutely going to decimate. What? Okay, folks. This is what I mean by Metal Lynx is the best starter. It just left a quad effect of Flame Wheel. Metal Lynx is quite the bulky thing. It's even better in its mega form. It gets heat proof. So it actually, you know, can withstand a fire type move. And Noopin does evolve at 40. 35, not 45. And we get a Jelen. Which is quite the abstract design. 
Mm, whatever, it's not like the first time I've lost. Anyways, fine here. So, and we pick up HMO3 Surf. We finally have a good water move. After you left, I stayed in Legion Town. I wanted to help the Rangers. We evacuated the rest of Veneville Town. But they told me to get lost, and they said they don't want me getting in the way. Getting hurt just because I'm little doesn't mean I can't help. My Pokemon are strong, and I'm a good trainer. You are a good trainer, Theo. Grown-ups think it's... They're right all the time, just take the HM and take the shortcut out of the forest. Next town is to the northwest across the ocean. You can fight the next gem leader. Oh, don't, I don't care. I'm going to beat Tico. See you later, Theo. Sorry the adults keep treating you like garbage. But yes, we can actually finally take Surf out of here. And finally have a good water type move. Thank God. This would have been nice. I don't know. Uh, before the fire gym. That, 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 that would have been nice to have, but. This is what it is. We got surf. And we can surf right along and get out of here. And might. Oh, so this way you can find tube jaws. Do I have, I have one net ball. I'm gonna try and great ball and see if we can capture it at full health. Two, three, awesome. Can we do, we can go back and see Professor Bambo now. Cause I believe we have over, we have 50 I think in the Pokedex now. Yeah, we have 56. So we should go to Professor Bambo at some point. Ooh, a furlong. All right, let's try to um, capture stuff as we go along. Unfortunately, this thing still has pound at, you know, level 28. One, two, three. Ah, come on. Nice, we're poisoned. That, that's fantastic. I swear Hop Terror is a good Pokemon. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are currently streaming Pokemon Uranium, getting absolutely destroyed by this wild Pokemon we're trying to catch. Because as we go along through Uranium, we have been capturing every new fake Pokemon that we see. And we caught it. Very nice. The Frolog. Can't swim, but they need to remain damp to survive, so they are found in grasslands next to rivers. That thing was on the water, though. What do you mean it can't swim? It was surfing. It was swimming. Ah, uh, game, you make no sense. Some of these Pokédex entries just make no sense sometimes. And you can come back and collect berries. I think the berries regrow every time you exit and re-enter the game, so that could be a nice strategy. Maybe it was on the nearby lily. Maybe? I didn't think about that. It may have been on the nearby lily pads. Do you think a lily pad could support that big frog, though? Huh. Oh. Well, yeah, I guess we are kind of floating on giant lily pads. I guess that's what we could see these circles that we magically appear at each battle. That's a good way to look at it, Crown Dress, because I've never seen it that way. Because when I first read that Pokédex entry, I'm like, but we're surfing on the water. That doesn't make any sense. And I got really confused. Oh, we got a Mankey. Got a very... Very nice. Get some more berries as we go out. We can always go back if we want to trade berries for healing items, which is a um, intuitive way to actually get some like revives and stuff. If you want, don't want to spend twelve hundred Poke dollars on it, it's actually a pretty cool way to get some stuff. Oh, we have a tiki. And this was another one. Th this thing's pretty cool. Like, it's Iron Fist and some neat punching moves. 
I, I was thinking of actually using that originally, but again, I have a fire type on my team already. I needed an electric type, so I've never got around to using a Tiki, but it's evolution free Tiki. Being a grass fire type is pretty cool. Eventually, I'll probably use one on a playthrough. Anything? Really? There's nothing over here? Huh. Seems like a missed opportunity. Alright. We're gonna head back down, though. And pick up the mystery gifts. Because those are special mystery gifts that you can't get those sprites if you don't get the mystery gifts. So, we gotta dump some Pokemon off really quick. Yeah, I'm um, deposit. There was two, so we're deposit. In box three. And unfortunately, once we get these Pokemon, we are going to be dumping Dexter off finally. Which is, a, it's a sad day to see. Nice, we got the leftovers. Do, 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 do. Oh, you have an item too. Ooh, the Rocky Helmet. That's actually pretty neat. Yeah, this, I think this evolves into a fighting poison type, poison fighting type at some point, I think so. But it has Poison Touch, it's pretty... Wow, it gets Gear Grind, Wood Hammer, Crunch, and Ice Punch? That's pretty gnarly for moves. That's cool. Dang, a favorite encounter. Re See, this thing gets a special ability called Rebuild. Restores HP when not damaged on a turn. So you can, you can protect and get leftover recovery and the rebuild recovery and it's a pretty decent way to use protect on this mon and it gets stuff like curse bulldoze it's a pretty unique mon and it's a pay rock type so it doesn't have that many weaknesses over like most rock types apart like ground which makes like grass and water moves decimate them but yeah no We'll be running into the normal counterpart of that uh, eventually, at some point. But, uh, let's see, we'll move some Pokemon. Drop you off. Where is my slug? Did I drop it in box? I did drop it in box three. I don't know why I can't put Dex in box two. And I don't. I don't know if you can shiny hunt these gifts. I have no clue. But it's a sad day. We're gonna take the quick claw from Dexter. So we're gonna be picking up our fighter team member eventually. So unfortunately, Dexter has been boxed for the meantime. We might bring him back in some point. Barbanoid, good Pokemon though. I would highly recommend it. If we didn't find the shiny swell sw blue, say blue, I would still be using Dexter. Because it, it, it's a monstrous, as you can see, special defense mon. That gets nasty plot. That ain't all got nasty plot. I'm gonna quickly update the layout. So I would just see Dexter go. It's a sad day indeed. But we're gonna be picking up a much more unique Pokemon in the upcoming routes. So we're gonna we're gonna pick up some more Pokeballs when we're in town. Come down here, I believe it's you. Yes. Since we're playing at night, we'll pick up some Dusk Balls. Uh do -do 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 -do. We don't sell quick balls, unfortunately. Pick up some old dusk balls. And do we need to heal before we leave? Yeah, we could probably heal. I forgot to show off Jellin, though. 
Not bad. It, it, you know, this thing's also quite defensive. Not bad special attack and not bad speed. So, if you're looking for an electric type, I would definitely use Jelen. If you have Achilles, because they, they counter each other's weaknesses quite well. But we're going to be, let's see. Yeah, I don't have the town map for us to see. Oh, wait, no, we got to the Pokepod for the map. I'm thinking of another fan game. Yeah, we're going to have to go all the way back up to where Professor Cypher's lab is. Because we're going to be going through Maker's Channel over to East Handle. See, we are here currently. Where? Oh, Moki Town. So we can just go down. Yeah, you know what? We're close enough to Professor Bambo. If I can remember how to get out of this town. I think it's down this way. Yeah. Let's go stop by Professor Bambo. Since we're already here. We might as well. This is a shortcut. Eh, kind of. I mean, it's kind of a shortcut. But yeah, you, you want to, for one, have a spare slot in your party when you see Professor Bambo, because he will be given a egg. And the egg's unique-ish. It's not... It's not anything to write home about, but it's unique enough to warrant coming back. And since you'll be coming back through this way anyways, you might as well stop by the lab at this point. I don't think the backtracking beforehand would be worth it. Hello, Professor Bambo! I reward you for collecting circuit milestones? Sure. Hmm. So you've seen 93 and caught 59. Not bad. We're only about, what? 40 something off. You're off to a good stop. Keep catching new Pokemon and see. We obtain a rare candy! When you catch 20 more Pokemon, come speak to me and I'll give you a. Oh, okay. So it's at 100 Pokemon that he gives us an egg. Oh, we got a PP up too? If you catch 30 Pokemon, okay. Oh, no, wait, it's 10, 20, 30. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are currently playing Pokemon Uranium. I'm getting our Pokedex evaluated for some rewards. Not bad uh, through the day. I did not know this. He gives you TM90 for substitute. That's a pretty good move. It costs one third of your HP to use, but it creates a decoy that takes a certain amount of damage. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We're currently playing Pokemon Uranium. And for something like Onyx, that can learn Drain Punch eventually, you can sub up, bulk up, and then use Drain Punch. And then get a Moxie Boost on top of it if you want it to. Zeta can learn it, which is pretty nice. Um, Ica can learn it, which, you know, for a Say Blue, it's pretty decent for a bulky wall. Having only, you know, technically one weakness if you're not counting nuclear-type Pokemon. So we'll get rid of Gyro Ball for now. Because what we could do, too, we did pick up the leftovers from that event. Where are my items? Right there. So we picked up the leftovers from that mystery gift. So we might as well slap it on and say blue. And let's see. Who can we give the... We can give the amulet coin to Hot Terra. No. And let's see if I could... Write the Pokedex some more, so you've caught, yeah, 59 again, so you caught 50 species. A special egg of a rare Pokemon for 50 species. When you catch 75 Pokemon. So we're almost to 75. So he did give us this really weird looking pink egg. So we'll keep that with us for now. See what it hatches into eventually. It, it shouldn't take nearly as long as um, Noopin did because we actually have a bike and flame body. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are currently playing Pokemon Uranium. We just got this weird pink egg from the professor. So we're going to try to hatch it to see what it 
um, hatches into. Hello, Mankeys! Oh, the music cut out. Cool! This, this, this game's funny. The music cuts out sometimes. Oh, hello, Magikarp! Yeah, being an old RPG fan game... Stuff breaks sometimes. I have noticed with a lot of RPG games, the music, like, randomly cuts out and then cuts back in when it feels like it. I know I... Let's see. I know I already wasn't messaging as much, but now I am for sure. Something came up, so I'm gonna lurk while I take heaven. That's fine, Crown Jester. Long as you're lurking and enjoying the stream, that's all that counts. Take care of what you need to do. We're gonna be streaming for a couple hours anyways. So, y you can 100% come back when you're done dealing with what you're dealing with and chat and whatnot. Anyways, we're gonna head on to East Handle now. Uh, do we have... I, I would suggest picking up some repels, just in case we do not have any repels. Alright. We're gonna stop by the Pokemon first. I would suggest picking up some repels, because we're gonna... We're gonna be taking on Router... I can't speak. We're gonna be taking on Water Routes. And a, a lot of water routes in Pokemon games just they spawn a crap ton of water types and it's good for Pokedex completion but at the same time I don't think we need an encounter every like 20 seconds especially going back through these routes we pretty much I think have everything we can get on most of these routes we we'll be heading what still north to yeah, we gotta go through Comet Cave to get to Tancoon Way. We could take the... We could take the train and end up heading. Okay, we head up through the water. We might be able to avoid the cave. Hold on. We do... We can just take the water! Alright. That's a nice shortcut. Oh wait, we have strength now too. We can do this actually. Yeah, we can take the water over here too now that we have surf. I think this is just a shortcut back. Yeah, this is a shortcut back to the first part of Comet Cave. This is a nice little shortcut you can take too. Wow, I'm relearning all the shortcuts. This is nice. But yeah, now we can finally move this boulder. Now that we got strength. Hello, that back off. These are my specimens. Oh, oh, okay. We pick up the Razor Fang, which could be used to evolve Gly, Garn to Gly Skull. Oh, uh, this one looks nearly perfect. Lee Preserve, it must be the remnants of a lava flow ca carved out by the ocean. I can see the, the impressions left behind its fur. What are you doing? Hey, this is a very important discovery in the field of paleontology, and this is all mine, all mine. Well, okay. I did sort of follow you here. I tell you what, if you can beat me in a battle, I'll let you take one of these fossils. So these are where you find the fossil Pokemon. Now the thing about the fossil Pokemon are that they are decent. Their stats do not align too well. And the move pools are haphazard. They're not bad fossil Pokemon, but like most fossil Pokemon, they're not too great. But if you want Professor Bambo's rewards for stuff, 100% pick it up because it's an easy um, dex entry. And Onyx gains a level. Very nice. Oh, hello, Sableye. Uh, bye, Sableye. Get wrecked. No. That's gonna do absolutely nothing to us. Mm, okay, I guess knocking off our black belt's cool. 
Get another moxie boost there. Yeah, uh, you will pop ground. No, you are part dark type. I can never remember this thing's typing. It's poison dark, right? No, poison ground. I can never remember that thing's typing. Got another moxie boost, and we beat the trainer. Very, very nice. Find you in fan square. These fossils are two of a kind of mammal Pokemon that lived 50,000 years ago. Uh... So we can take the hair of the tusk fossil. I'm gonna take the hair fossil. The tusk fossil becomes an ice type Pokemon that is a physical attacker with not a lot of physical ice type moves. So it is definitely the weaker of the two. And it's sad because this typing is ice fighting, I believe. It's a cool looking Pokemon, it's just... Oh, hello there. Who goes there? You are on our turf now, trespassers beware. Surfing ninjas. So, we're getting mugged by ninjas that surf. As they play the Magma and Aqua theme. I mean, these guys are... Kind of pushovers, as long as they don't. One shot, Yoshi. Oh. Bye, Yoshi. You tried, buddy. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, these are water steel type fish. They're pretty cool. The evolutions are pretty cool, too. Doo -doo. And that's what it evolves into. It's pretty cool. It's a cool evolutionary line for the most part. Bye bye. So yeah, you, you're gonna be absolutely pestered by these surfing, basically pirates, as you go through the water routes of Tandal. Especially once you hit East Tandal, they are everywhere. Unfortunately, this storyline never gets finished or clean, cleaned up. As of right now, there are plans for it in the future. But as it stands now, there's no DLC to kind of wrap this story up nicely. We got another Moxie boost. There we go, Hop Terra. Now you're getting it. You must have won. You may have run this time, but make no mistake. Our clan will avenge us. Sleep with one eye open. Yeah, so that's the um that's the surfing ninjas. I find them more of a nuisance than anything else. To be quite honest. Like they're they're not the greatest I guess antagonist. It's cool that they use the Magma and Aqua theme, but that that that's about all I can say that's good. For them. Doo -doo. Yes, use another repel. Gonna be surfing on over to East Handle. Well, we have a whole boatload of trainers. And this water route's pretty long. As long as you don't have a rock type move, we should be up. Oh, I don't know why I used Aerialize. You have Ancient Power. Fantastic. Fantastic. Sorry, Hop Terra. Sorry, I got you absolutely murdered. And you have rock. Okay, yeah, no. Good day. There we go. Now Zeta's starting to one-shot stuff. Even though it was quite effective and it was a Kosala. Titanize! <laughs> this Pokemon, when I first saw it, is absolutely hilarious in one sense. Because this is, again, another physical ice type that gets, I think, icicle crashes. It's only 
ice type physical move. And it's that, so it's just mediocre. And Titan Ice. We all know this is supposed to be in reference to the Titanic that crashed. Which is kind of gruesome in a way, kind of mobit in a way, but kind of funny in a way too. It, it, it's a healthy dose of dark humor in this game, which I, I find funny. Oh, we got a tube jaw. Now, as you can start to see that the enemy Pokemon are right back up with our level. And Hopterra gets wrecked. Again. Can't catch a break today, Hopterra. I am so sorry. I swear Hopterra is good. But yeah, Tube Jaws also has um, Strong Jaw as an ability. So that Ice Fang probably would have killed at full health anyways. But yeah, no, the enemy trainers have already caught up to us. We just hit around level 35, and they're level 35 now. So, this is the part of the game that I do not like because the levels spike again. Luckily, there is another infinite trainer, as long as you notice him, which I don't think you can miss him. As long as you battle him. You should be fine. Finally! Something we can beat! Hopefully one shot. Not quite. And we're dead. Oh no! Cool! Cool how Terra didn't die for once! I'm starting to think Ariel... Not Ariel, like, um, Gale Wings would have probably been better for you. It's okay. Mo Moxie's a decent ability on Hop Terra. That bubble beam ain't doing jack diddly. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We're currently playing Pokemon Uranium on a water route. Just kind of going through, trying to level up a little bit. Just... And the music cut out again. Cool! Just trying to level up a little bit because the enemy Pokemon have already caught up to us. Do we have any healing berries? We do not. Cool. Okay. Neat. So we're just going to head, head up along then. And yeah, th that that's what I don't like about this part of the game. It's the levels caught up, and we, we just had a super hard gym battle with a fire type gym leader. Because of the levels catching up to us, and now they've caught up to us again. I don't understand what the devs were thinking. They've done, they did so much right in the first half of this game, that this, the, at least the middle half of this, it doesn't feel right. Feels like it was either rushed or poorly planned. Which could be either, to be quite honest. Do you have you have stole? Okay. I was wondering why you used rest. Well, we gotta get a special attack raised by two stages and then just sweep. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are currently playing Pokemon Uranium. Heading over to East Tandor on the water routes. We just evolved our Nupin into a Jelen, and we're just kind of leveling up because the enemy Pokemon have already caught up to us in levels. They jumped for like five levels in between the routes that we were on last stream. At the very least, they pay out decently on these routes. And you, you can find another TM34 for Shockwave if you didn't pick it up already by that lady I guess they didn't want you to miss it but we already have TM34 for shockwave so I don't know why they put that there I guess they didn't want you to miss the TM but it kind of seems redundant hello hello welcome to the stream we're currently playing Pokemon Uranium trying to level up ooh aqua jet nice at least I didn't do much 
Electroxo! Hello there, buddy. Eh, we're gonna risk it and go for a dig. This is what Electroc evolves in. Huh. You gave me a free Moxie boost. I don't know what you were accomplishing there. I don't think Dig would have knocked you out last turn, but it's 100% gonna knock you out now, or at least should. Yeah. I mean, we get static, static, but I don't think it matters. Hot Para gains a level. Very nice indeed. Uh, we do have a full heal. We might be able to live a hit. Maybe. Hot Terra. You know what? We're risking it for the biscuit. Don't hit yourself. Ah! Come on! That's BS. That, 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 that's um, that's some BS, right? <laughs> One time I don't need you to hit yourself in confusion. Man. I think we ran out of revives, too. Oh, no, we didn't. This is our last. All right, Hopterra, you have one last chance to uh, not faint. And then there's absolutely nothing I can do for you if you faint. Okay, you give us a spawny. Thank you. It does get better moves later on, so... It, it, it's a struggle to still use because it's just walking off of Aerial Ace and it doesn't have extras yet. It gets better moves later on through Move Tutor and stuff. It, it, it's a struggle. Oh, more pirates. Cool. You are the one who disgraced our brothers. None may defeat our ninja clan in battle. Prepare to be punished. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are being jumped by surfing ninjas. That has shuriken sold looking Pokemon. Which I just find hilarious. Ah, uh, you don't have... A ground type move anymore. I forgot I got rid of it. Can you knock something out, Yoshi? No. Well, bye, Yoshi. I yeah, yeah. I didn't expect you to live that. But I, I wasn't expecting you to live an Aqua Jet at all. Uh, swap out. And Shockwave. This is definitely, if you pick Meta Links, you're just gonna, like, completely destroy. Oh, Coastal Reef! Cool! This is Coastal's evolution in this game. And as you can tell, it, it's extremely bulky. And again, it has a special ability called Shop. Shop? Coal? Which swaps its attack and defensive stats. Which doesn't really help it. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are currently playing Pokemon Uranium. And we just seen Coastal's evolution, and I was explaining that its ability shop coal swaps its attack and defensive stats. Problem with it is, it's so slow, and its attacking stats are garbage. Bro, streaming for no one. Pretty much, yeah. That's okay, though. I just like streaming for a hobby. We'll go to Shockwave. I like streaming for a hobby. I also like streaming. Bozo, I'm assuming. Bronzo. However your name's pronounced. I do it for a hobby and I want to get this game out there. So. I mean, you, you, I guess you can laugh. Say what you want to, it really, really doesn't bother me. And Zeta gains a level, very nice. 
This injustice will not stand. We must tell our boss. Yes, boss will teach this Gaijin a lesson. A lesson. You will regret the day that you messed with us. So yeah, the ninjas will be back. And the music cut out again. Ooh, we found a shell bell. Super training. So we found another one of these ninja tents. And we can do super training. Or we can just battle him. This is for your HP stat. Keep in mind what these location of these ninja huts are. Because they're going to come in place later. Probably should run back and heal. Yeah, let's use another repel. I don't know if we can buy... We should probably buy some healing items. So we don't have to keep running back. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are currently playing Pokemon Uranium. We are just fighting some surfing ninja pirate people. I guess is what you would categorize them as. And they said their boss is going to be sent after us because I guess we disgraced the clan by beating them. Pick up some potions. You don't sell revives, do you? No. Okay. Cool. Very, very cool. We also, from the professor, profess, professor, picked up this really weird pink egg. No clue what's in it. Yes, yeah, use another repel. We are just blowing through repels today. Head back onto Route 12. Yes, use another repel. Oh, you can find Boronoids in the wild. I did not know that. So, well, if you want to use one, and you don't want to use... Blip, it's pre-evolution. Go, ri go right ahead, I guess you can wait this long to capture one. Oh. Okay, we're being absolutely sunk. There's the boss. It's a Gaijin trespasser who dares surf on our turf. Oh, they did get the boss, did I interrupt? So you are the strong Pokemon trainer, right? But, by now, you are weak and tired. My Pokemon are strong, speedy, stealthy. We rule this part of the sea for the honor of my clan. We will punish you. So, we got the boss, which looks no different than his grunts. But, yeah, this is... It's probably a good idea, idea to go heal. If you haven't healed already. I mean, you can, I guess, spam Hyper Potions. Ooh, almost a knockout on that. <laughs> Would you stop spamming Hyper Potions? Come on! Almost a knockout again. Oh, nice, Gyarados. Cool. So yeah, as you can see, this Gyarados is level 38. You know... We have nothing that even remotely comes close to that other than Zeta. And that's only because we're on a water route. You would have Ice Fang. Cool. I don't think I have a counter to this. Hello there, Tim. Hello. We are currently playing Pokemon Uranium. Almost got taken out by a Gyarados. We're currently on a water route heading to East Handel. To where the next gym leader should be. Tuberiel. This thing is pretty cool. It has strong jaw for an ability. It gets the elemental fangs. It gets poison fang, I believe, by move tutor. It gets crunch. It's pretty neat. My butt is burning from the pepperoni. I'm sorry to hear that your butt's burning from pepperoni. Pretty odd statement to make, but that sucks. <laughs> That's why I don't eat stuff like pepperoni. Or he's having on my gut. 
Oh, this is another thing you can do with Hoth Terra if you have Gale Wings. You get priority Tailwind, which is nice team support. No, I don't wanna. Well, I'm sorry it hurts a lot. Uh, some drinking some water might help. Now, yeah, Paw Terra went down. Hop Terra would faint to a Vaporeon. Give this Vaporeon a nice brick break. Ooh. Don't lower my accuracy, please. Ooh! Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are getting absolutely destroyed by Vaporeon. Almost killed us, <laughs> and it got the accuracy lowered. Daikatuna. This thing's cool as well. It's a swordfish. With an actual sword on its head. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay. As you can see by the level of this thing. Okay, cool. As you can see by the level of this thing, it's almost level 40. Nice, we flinched twice. Cool. Is there more evolutions in this Pokemon? There is one more evolution. I will not spoil what the new one is. But yes, there is a new evolution in this game. And it's probably one of the strongest Pokemon in this game. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. It, it's, it's, it's pretty unique. You have all the other evolutions. I don't think they've had any stat modifications in this game. I don't think any move pool either. When you get to it, can you name it to me? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to be coming up to it soon enough. So I guess you have a boss now. Oh, so we are the boss to the ninja clan now, just like that. That's pretty cool. We have our own ninja clan now. Uh, is there, I, there is an item over here. Sweet. TM57 charge beam. That has a 50% chance of raising your special attack. I have the original. I had the original Pokemon cards and they got stolen from me when I was a kid. Oh no. Hello, I'm a traveling Pokemon doctor. See, this is very nice. After that long water route and that bat, you know, that hard boss fight, they gave you a doctor and you can come back and use them whenever. I like what they did here. You can see the entrance and exit and they're not lined up at all and it kind of bugs me. I don't think they needed to make a transition screen like this. And this one part of the game has always bugged me. But we make it to Route 13. You're lost, I can read it in the cards. I love the original design of the- I do like the original design of the Pokemon cards, too. Like, I don't know what it is, it might just be nostalgia. Because I grew up with the original Pokemon cards. But- I do like how the newer ones look, though, because they're more eccentric, more, like, detailed and well-designed over the original. But, like, we had, like, Shining Pokemon before Shinies were a thing. We have Dark Pokemon, too, before actual Dark Pokemon came about. Uh... Oh, Tan Scare, cool. Yeah, no, I, I, I did like the original Pokemon cards a bit more. Move aside, peasant, you are blocking my view. Cool. Oh yeah, no, the original Pokemon cards are pretty cool. Now we can see what Emperilla looks like from the front. This is Primate's final evolution. This thing has a unique ability where if you hit it with a physical move, it raises its attack. Which... And this thing's bulky enough to actually take a hit. So. It, it, it's a pretty unique Pokemon. It's pretty fast, too. 
I do like the design slightly more than Annihilate. And I like the ability of it gets hit with a physical move, and I think it can learn Drain Punts. So you can send it out against a physical attacker, regain most of your health, and just Drain Punch everything with a free attack boost. It's a pretty unique, unique Pokemon, to say the least. Uh, let's see, the Jungle Crown, I believe you get back in the forest. I think we picked up the Jungle Crown. I think we picked up the Jungle Crown, did we not? I can't look at it from here. But you use the Jungle Crown, you can evolve Primeape into Emperilla. And I do like that it's an animated sprite now. Nice. It's Shao. Ten. Could you stop flinching me? I do like that they did give some returning Pokemon new evolutions to kind of breathe life into them. It makes them feel a bit more unique in a game that has over 120 plus Fakemon in it. I'm assuming Surf would probably do more damage than Rock Slide. Just about. But I, I, I like, I like Emperella. And I like what they did with other Pokemon. I like that some Pokemon get nuclear forms that are old-fashioned. Some get just new evolutions. Period. Like, the, the original Coastal, like right here, Coastal Reef, is an evolution to the original Coastal. We still don't have that, and this is a pretty cool design. I could see Coastal evolving into this, and this being a, you know, legit evolution to it. And it has a unique ability. And it just looks cool. And it still, I think it still retains Regenerator, too. I got four Eevee cards and one Flare. I have a whole bunch of evolution cards. So, kid. That's a water fairy type. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. Ooh, we're getting Thunderbolt naturally. Goodbye, Shockwave. I didn't know Jelen learned Thunderbolt naturally. That's pretty neat. I like that. Cause I don't think we get the Thunderbolt team until Victory Road. So that's that's pretty nice that it learns it naturally. Not many electric types do learn it naturally. I came from the mountains up north looking for a strong trainer to challenge. Grenal! Again, for people returning. This is the only PS Steel type in the game. And this is the only thing to um, be resistant to nuclear type Pokemon. So it's it it's still a pretty good Pokemon for the most part. It's not terrible. It's not the best Steel type in the game, but it's not terrible. I got a V Star Mag. Ooh, that's cool. I've always liked Magnezone. I like the fact that you can use Magnezone in pretty much every Poke mainline Pokemon game. Since Gen 1, it's been in every game. It's a solid electric type. Goodbye, Grenol. But yeah, no, Magnezone, I didn't like Magnemite to begin with, but I used one when I first played Volt White 2. And it ended up, it ended up being like one of my favorite electric types through that game. I got it from Cog. Oh, that's cool. Lucky Paul then. And Hop Terra finally doing some serious damage. About time. And Terra Lord. Meh. Well. At least Hop Terra finally can do something. Oh, spikes. That's not gonna do much. Considering I'm not switching out Terra Lord. I didn't even know you got spikes. I guess that's another thing you can do with Terra Lord is fast enough to lay spikes down. 
I mean, didn't really help much from an actual car. Oh! That's even cooler! It's pretty neat. Got a whole bunch of berries here. I don't really use berries, but the nuclear type reducing berries, the half of berries, are pretty decent. We got some citrus berries at least. Is this a. Ooh, we got a lump berry too. That's pretty nice. And we find TMO2 Dragon Claw. I know immediately who I'm teaching that to. Come here, Yoshi. Yeah, for some reason, Yoshi can learn Dragon Claw. Get rid of Rock Slide. I have no clue why Yoshi can learn Dragon Claw. I mean, it makes sense it's a dinosaur-esque looking raptor. Litten would be a good house cat. Litten would be a good house cat. Litten good cat. I just don't like what it evolves into. They had such a cool design with Litten and Tora Cat, and then Incineroar came about, and I just don't like it at all. And it's sad, because the Alolan starters are actually some of my favorite starter pairings. It's just, I, I don't, I don't like it. They had a cool buff four-legged cat, and it becomes Tony the Tiger's crazy cousin. Ooh, Jack Deary, this is a fighting fairy type. Which is a unique type combination for this part of the game. It's a decent Pokemon all around. I used one briefly. I didn't think it was gonna stick. But yeah, fighting and fairy, I don't think even to this day we... Do we have a fighting fairy type? I don't think we have an official fighting fairy type. Oh, I think it's pot f fighting or either pair fighting or pair fairy right now and it gains one of those typings. But it becomes a fighting fairy type. I love Purloin. I wish it was better. I, I honestly wish Lipod was better because it has a great hidden ability in Prankster. And it gets a lot of really unique support moves. I just wish the stats were slightly better. Oh, nice. We caught it. It is a fighting fairy type right off the bat. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. Cool type combination. I like it. Hey, want to see me do a cool trick? I can swallow fire. That doesn't seem safe or healthy. Well, yeah, no, I, I like most of the cat Pokemon we have. Purloin, Meowth, Litten. Um, I like Glam Meowth. I don't like Pur Ugly. Like, I, I, I seen the direction that Glam Meowth could have taken, and it's just meh. Ooh, Achilles. So, that's what a normal Achilles looks like. Which, it does not look like an angry Yoshi. I like our angry Yoshi better. It's still a cool design, even not shine. I did not want to run. Like, Achilles just has a solid design. Florigato be a fluffy Pokemon to hug. I don't like Florigato. Again. Why did Sprigatito have to stand up on two legs? I, I don't I don't understand it. Like, why can't we have a full-legged cat Pokemon just be a full-legged cat Pokemon? Why why do they all have to either evolve into something ugly, weak, or stand up on two legs? Like that that's just my opinion on things. Because that's how they I mean I I, I guess I don't like Flo Gato and not Flo just um Oh what what's Brigatito's final evolution? Masquerada. I see what they were going with the magician theme. I like I like 
Frey, Coco, and Skeledulge as my starter for Gen 9. Not a big fan of Quack Quable either. Like, out of all the starters, I feel that Gen 9 had the weakest punch for me. And that's, that's just personal preference. Nice, your attack missed. Very nice. That's just personal preference on my part. I mean, Magikarp's useless, but it evolves into something that's pretty cool. I wouldn't really call Gyarados useless. And I, 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 I will gladly... Ooh, U-turn! That's pretty nice. Uh... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I want to keep Bug Bite. We'll get rid of Brook Break. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We're currently playing some Pokemon Uranium. Oh, we got a lag spike there. Ooh. Finnegan is really cute to me. I love Finnegan. Finnegan was my starter for Gen 6. And honestly, I know not a lot of people are a huge fan of Delphox. I happen to like Delphox as a concept. Again, Finnegan could have went the cooler full like a fox route. Or like a Naruto style fox or like could have evolved into something that looked like Ninetales. But I don't mind Delphox. It looks decent. Ooh, we pick up TM87 Swagger. I don't know. Why will... Why over there is lagging? That... It's just that one area. That's weird. But yeah, no, I... I like the Finnegan line. It, it, it's a Froakie line that I don't like in Gen 6. I used to be a competitive battler, and I seen green ninjas everywhere. And I hate the fact that I've seen Grin Ninjas everywhere. They were annoying to fight. They were on every team. And while well, Chestnut's just kind of there, I don't have a preference to it, and I don't hate it. It's just kind of there for me. Ooh, we're going to get a Rock Slide. Let's try out Dragon Claw for the first time. Very nice. Don't flinch, please. Nice. Yeah, well, I'm a fan of most starters. I'm... I don't hate most starter designs. Like, for me, the Hoenn starters, because I started in Hoenn, will always be my favorite. Okay, nice. Double attack my snail. Very, very nice. Like, they will always be my favorite. And then Gen 4 and Gen 5 are pretty close up there, too. I find the Johto starter is cool, but weak. People need to stop simping on my... Uh, yeah, they need to stop simping on Vaporeon, too. Like, I, I, I've i seen what Reddit's done to Vaporeon, and I, I'm i very disturbed by... Ooh, Flamethrower! Finally, a good fire move on Yoshi. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I have seen... What the internet has done to some Pokemon, and I'm not okay with it in the slightest. I, it's very disturbing. Find an HP up, pretty nice. I don't know why we are lagging out as bad as we are. I've never had problems on that route. Made it to Venice City, though. It's a pretty cool city. If I can remember where the Poke Center is. I always get lost in this city. There it is. You know, Venice City's pretty cool. You can pick up Embargo over here, which is nice. If we come down this way, we get this interesting looking rat Pokemon. 
Good. Ratsky? This is basically your Smeagol of the game. It learns sketch. And it can sketch pretty much any move. And this thing's compatible to breed with a lot of Pokemon. So it's pretty good for that. I don't like Meowskarada. I have beef with Meowskarada. I wanted to pick Sprigatito originally, and then I seen what it evolved into, and I'm not a fan. Just no, no, not, not a huge fan of Meowskarada. At all. It's just humanoid-looking Pokemon like that. That's just not my cup of tea. And, like, I like Pokemon like Blaziken. Blaziken's humanoid, but it looks like a wild animal. Meowskarada looks like a person in a suit. And it's just, eh. It's just not for me. Ooh, our eggs gonna hatch soon. Oh, we didn't have long to hatch it. We get a mini corn! Now, this thing is pretty cool. Because this thing will either evolve into a fairy normal type. It will keep its fairy normal typing, or it will evolve into a fairy dark type, depending on if you use a shiny stone or a dusk stone. Now, unfortunately, only the fairy normal evolution has mega evolution with mini corn. The fairy dark version of this does not. It, 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 it's a cool Pokemon. It gets a lot of cool special moves. And overall, it's just a cool Pokemon. I would definitely recommend using one. I wonder what does feel like to be inside a Pokeball. I would assume it's made to be... I would assume that inside of a... The bridge took time to... I would assume being inside a Pokeball is a lot like just being out in nature. I think each Pokeball is supposed to make a home for whatever Pokemon in it. Like, that's why we have, like, a dive ball would be comfortable for water-type Pokemon. No, a luxury ball is, like, luxurious inside. That's what I would assume. I think the anime covered it quite well, though. I'm gonna pick up some Pokeballs here. We're gonna go back to Route 13. There's, there, there's a Pokemon we're gonna pick up for our team. And by no shock, it, it's Eevee. I'm not even going to hide what it's going to be. Because as I was talking about before, like nature almost. Yeah, that's what I would assume a Pokeball. It's supposed to be mimicking the habitat of what the Pokemon would live in. That is 100% what I think inside of a Pokeball would be like. Spritzy! Uh, yeah, just flame floor. Oh, come on, Yoshi. You could have knocked that out. Five golds of Spritzy. Aromatisse! Now, the thing about Spritzy, too, is it gets a split evolution that becomes a poison dog type. And it's like a Plague Doctor design that we want it. It's pretty cool looking. For me, the nature area will be in grass without trees. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think the anime at one point touched on what a Pokeball looks like inside, didn't it? Oh, is that a fan creation? I'm not positive on that. But yeah, so we're going to be picking up an Eevee. Unfortunately, Eevee is a very rare spawn in this area, so we might be here a while. But, as I was stating before, Eevee does get an evolution. A new evolution in this game. But, I highly, highly suggest you do not evolve your Eevee until after this gym fight coming up. Duplicat! Du Duplicat is the deader of this game. There's nothing more to it. It can breed with everything. If we didn't burn it to death. But, 
I would highly suggest you do not evolve your Eevee until after the gym fight because its new evolution cannot learn Shadow Ball. And that's in the cave up north of here. But you can only get it after the next gym. And you're gonna want Shadow Ball on this Eevee Lucian. Oh! While we're here, we might as well do a mini grind session while we're looking for Eevee. It's a, it makes the most sense because I think Eevee's like a 10%, 2% spawn. Some, some, something like that. I think it's some, some number. It, it's very right. I remember when I first wanted to look for an Eevee, it took about half an hour to find one. I hope it doesn't take that long. Someone made an Eevee mod on Pizza. What is Pizza Tower? I've never heard of that. Is it like a Roblox thing? Or is it just like a, like, I don't know, a Flash game or something? Oh. Well, it didn't make a substitute. That's weird. Aw, oh, come on, Duplicat. I want to use up all my dust balls here. One, two, three. Cool. Cool beans. Yeah, it's a copycat Pokemon. It makes sense. Duplicat's in the name. All right, Evie, you can pop in any day now, please. I don't know why every Pokemon game makes Evie such a rare spawn. It's not. Oh, it's a Steam game. Okay, that that makes sense. That 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 makes sense. Oh, you hit me with a tract. That that's cool. But yeah, no, Spritz is actually pretty good. It, it, it's split evolution is pretty good. Well, at least the new Fakemon version of it. Aromatisse is still Aromatisse. So, it's meh. Okay, so we're either gonna find a Shiny first again, or we're gonna find Eevee. Put it down in the co in the chat. What do you think we're gonna find first, Eevee or Shiny? Ooh, Tanski gives some good EXP. It's almost a thousand EXP per one of these. That's pretty nice. What's the XP? What's that? Seven hundred something. Yeah, almost eight hundred EXP. That's really good. For a wild Pokemon, at least. Imagine Eevee as a Transformer. That would be cool. Eevee as a Transformer. That would be pretty cool, actually. I mean... Again, Eevee is like... Peak Pokemon perfection anyways. So, like, making Eevee a Transformer is just making it cooler. Transformation will be its theme train. A stream. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, you got knocked out by Flame Body. That's funny. Oh, uh, we have Duplicat. I forgot about that. So probably go dump that off at the Poké Center. And we should probably heal when we're at it too. I don't know why Phoenixy City is lagging as bad as it is. Huh. I'm super obsessed of Steam Train. I love trains, okay? I am super mad that, at least where I live, I don't know where you live, Tim, but where I live in the US, like, 
we have no train transportation. It's all like car based transportation and it makes me sad because I like trains a lot. I find riding on a train fun and just a cool way to move about. And I'm mad that everyone's obsessed with cars now. I like trains. They're cool. But I'm not like one of those crazy people that like trains that collect model trains. I'm not a model train collector, but I do like trains. And I love when video games incorporate trains. Yeah, no, please, please don't roll me out of battle. Battle, I kind of need your EXP. I love Thomas growing up. I like Thomas, and then I seen what the internet did to Thomas. And it makes me sad. I've seen creepy pastas of Thomas. And it ruined Thomas for me. Ooh, Muddy Water's pretty nice. Muddy Water lowers accuracy, but it has pretty shaky accuracy itself. It doesn't beat out Surf. At all. It has a nice accuracy dropping secondary effect, but that 85 accuracy might as well be 50% accuracy. I wonder, how much does Rock Slide do? I'm just slightly curious. Oh, that's actually not that bad of damage. Until you use Double Team. Cool. 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 We're, we're gonna start missing moves now, aren't we? Someone made a Fallout person of Thomas and Friends is called... Oh, God. Uh, I don't even want to look that up. Dear God. If it goes Fallout, we're gonna hold a Thomas in one way or the other. Seems like if you can think of a mod, Fallout probably has it. Like, granted, I'm a huge Fallout fan. Well, a New Vegas fan, anyways. I found Fallout 4 kind of boring. And the online multiplayer one, what what I, I forget what it even was called. That that was just kind of lame in itself. But yeah, no, Fallout New Vegas is where my personal love for the series comes from. Which is absolutely no shocker because a lot of people's favorite game is Fallout New Vegas. <coughs> yeah, no, Fallout New Vegas just did everything correctly. Basically, lore of it is a nuclear plant on an island of Soto, exploding, mutate, mutated crap, and you know all that from the Fallout. Yeah. Yeah, no. So it's just Fallout, but with trains, basically. Yeah, no, I, I was a huge Fallout fanatic when 3 came out, and then New Vegas came out, and I was a fan of it, and then Fallout 4 came out, and I tried it, and I just didn't like it. I found it fun, just wasn't fun for me, and it was the first Fallout game, too, to make me motion sick. I don't know if any of you guys ever had that happen with Fallout 4, but it made me sick playing it. I think Fallout became a Pokemon in this game. I think Fallout become on Pokemon on the Yeah, this game was definitely inspired by the Fallout series, I I think. I don't know if the original creator, because it's not made by the same creator that made this game back in 2016, a new um group picked it up to continue to do updates on it and everything. I'm, I don't know if he ever came out with, like, an interview or, like, tweeted out exactly what inspired him to make this. But, uh, yeah, this is basically Fallout Pokemon. Which is why it's, like, one of my favorite fan games out there, despite its age. Oh, come on, don't do this magnitude again. And we're back to the Magnitude 6. Cool. But this is definitely one of my favorite fan games 
out there for Pokemon. It has creative designs, has a creative story behind it. It's Fakemon designs feel like Pokemon. Which with Fakemon designs, it's really hit or miss with me. It's either you have really good designs that feel like genuine, generally good Pokemon designs, like they could fit right into the series. Or you have such abstract Fakemon designs that they just don't feel like they would fit in with Pokemon. Wow, we still don't got an Eevee. Cool. It has to be a 1% encounter. Oliver got mutated from the radiation because the face got removed. It was a giant sharp teeth mouth. Oh, God. Ugh. Now that's creepy to think about. Uh, let's see. 38, 38, 38, 37. Okay, we'll get everyone up to 40 then at least. That's pretty nice. I wish we could find the Eevee already, for the love of God. It can grow and ungrow. Oh, 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 God. It, ugh. Ugh. Makes my skin crawl thinking about that. Giant spider legs coming in and out. Ooh. Wow, this playthrough is cursed with magnitude 6. Man, I'm gonna be so happy when we get, get rid of magnitude on this thing and actually teach it a good ground move. Like, this entire playthrough has been plagued with magnitude 6. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are currently trying to find an Eevee in Pokemon Uranium on this route. It's like a 1% encounter, and it's painful to try to find it. But we are trying to find an Eevee because it gets a new evolution in this game. And it's one of the most broken evolutions in this game. And one of the most broken Pokemon in this game. The creator of the soda fallout called Oliver Mutation called Beast or Monster. Oh. See, I've never heard of this mod game. I've never heard of any of this, so it's all new to me. Come on, Ika. Oh, wow, you got a magnitude six for once. Cool. Thanks for that. Good, I did that from the start. No, it's a, oh, it's a video on YouTube. Okay. I, I didn't know. I'm not really up to date with stuff like that. Because, like, it never interests me, at least. Or maybe I have seen it and I just don't remember it. That's also a possibility. Wow, could we find an Eevee, please? Well, at least we got a magnitude 7 that time. Can we please find Nebi? Please don't hit yourself. God damn it. Yeah, that one ruined my childhood, but it doesn't scare me no more. Yeah, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that ruined my childhood. Like, the creepypasta community has gotten a hold of so many of my beloved childhood classic cartoons and stuff. Come on, Ika. Come on, stop hitting yourself in confusion. Can you hit the mag- oh, If you hit yourself in confusion, you're gonna die. Cool. And you still get a magnitude 6 after that. Cool. Thanks. Ooh, we got 817 EXP that time. Neat. I forgot to drop Duplicat off in the PC. That's the whole reason we went back to Finissy City. 
Oh, Venice. -y. Yeah, Venice -y city. The whole reason we went back here was to drop it off originally. <laughs> Edward survived from the radiation fallout and, and no get mutation. That's cool. It's always good to not get a mutation when you're in a fallout style universe. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are currently trying to find an Eevee in Pokemon Uranium to get its brand new evolution. And we're catching some Pokemon along the way, training a little bit so we can catch up with levels. We got three boxes of cool Fakemon here so far. If we get a hundred Fakemon registered in the Pokedex, they'll give us the professor will give us another reward. Hopefully we can find this Eevee sometime this century. That, 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 that would be nice. This is this is this is pain. This is probably one of the only things I don't like about what they did with the encounter system in this game is just why is Eevee this hard to find on this route? I don't understand it. Like, you give it a brand new evolution, you marketed it as getting a brand new evolution. You know people like Eevee. Why Why don't you just make Eevee, Eevee easier to find? What are those two black engineers from? I have no clue. Engineers from Scotland? Oh, en engines? I have no clue, honestly, Tim. I'm not too familiar with a lot of stuff from Scotland. Okay, cool. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are currently playing Pokemon Uranium, trying to find an Eevee. So we can get its brand new evolution. Doing a little bit of grinding along the way, because we might as well kill two birds with one stone when we're at it. Oh, cool, Sing. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for that. Oliver the Beast won't scare me. Well, that that's cool. I don't think Oliver the Beast is scary. Oh, cool! You got to spam double team now. Fun. Fun, fun, fun game. Nope, miss. Cool. Wake up. Hit surf. Thank you. Goodbye. I mean, th this route gives decent EXP at least. Get everyone up to level 40, because we have fallen massively behind in levels. And this Eevee is going to come massively weak too, so we're going to have to grind that up as well. And might I say, I think that's my favorite animation for Moonblast. A giant moon pops up and then just shoots a beam at you. I love some of the animations for moves in this game. I hope every steam engine would survive from the fallout. I, I, I would hope so. Well, considering that most steam engines should be made out of steel, and steel can't get affected by radiation, that, that's kind of one of the gimmicks in this game too, is steel types resist nuclear Pokemon, because steel doesn't get affected by radiation. Oh, cool, Magnitude 8. Boy, it does not matter. What about the face arena? I have no clue. I don't know about the face arena. Cool. And probably go turn off animation when we grind. Speed it up just ever so slightly. So we're not sitting here for 45 minutes watching the same animations. Animations. Come on, Eevee! Tan scale, cool. Yeah, no, I, I I think we're gonna find another shiny Pokemon before we find this Eevee. Play Toby commit, you know. Um, wait. I guess. I don't know what Toby commits you. No, is not play. Oh, 
but Toby commits, you know, I, I guess. I don't really understand, but I guess. Okay, no. Yeah, no, we are not playing this, this game. No, nope, no thank you. Be gone with the... Oh, okay. Now nah, I think I understand. Eevee? No. <laughs> Why is Eevee so goddamn rare on this route? Because of the face inside of the firebox. The face inside of the firebox is why Eevee's right on this route. I can see that. Ooh, we go down. Fun. Revenge, Onyx. Revenge. Good miss. You're saying. It's shouting. You are annoying. No, I'm talking about. Oh, you're talking about Toby. Okay. Yeah, shout ten again. Yeah, uranium devs. I don't know if you're watching this. You're probably not watching this, but uh, a hundred percent. You should fix Eevee's spawn rates on this route because this is a little bit ridiculous. I don't. Know, I don't even know how long. I don't even know how long we've been going trying to find this Eevee. I feel bad for Toby from the Sword of Fallout series. Yeah, it sounds like he's had a rough time. Flame body? Aww. Nice, Yoshi gains a level. Man, this is actually one thing I do agree with with the newer games is I'm glad they got rid of random encounters. I thought random encounters were so cool as a kid. Cause you never know what you're gonna find. I just find them completely obnoxious now. Like I don't have 20 years to sit here and randomly encounter stuff until like an Eevee pops up. Oh my god the Eevees exist! Wow, Eevees exist! Praise the Lord! We're gonna throw a dust ball and hopefully capture this thing. One, two. Aw, oh, come on. Try an Ultra Ball. One? Nope. Try another Ultra Ball, because I don't think I can attack it with anything I have. Nope. Damn. Eh, we're just going to keep throwing balls at it. One, two, three. Nice. Eevee has unstable genetic makeup that suddenly mutates due to its environment. Radiation from various stones can evolve th this Pokemon. We are going to be giving you a nice nickname. You are going to now be known as Gamma the Eevee. Now. Now that we have the Eevee, hopefully it has decent IVs. If not, I'm not doing that again. I will more than likely off screen Hunt for a better Eevee, depending, but. Oh, we had it in the party. That's right. Hmm. Yeah, no, though those, we might have to find another one. I will keep this right here. You did not put my... Oh, you wanted your name as the Eevee. I was confused. 
got you. We can name it Tim the Eevee. Sure, why not? But we're gonna hunt for another Eevee. Cause while usually I don't care about Ivies all that much. Oh, we found one at a higher level too. Cool. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We found this Eevee super quick. Ouch. One. No, Eevee. Please get in the ball. Close. But as I was saying, as we try to capture this annoying little fox creature, the thing with Eevee. Oh no. Bleh. Tim the Eevee for now. The thing with Eevee. Okay, that's a bit better. Doesn't really help with the nature. So, we'll grab one more Eevee, because we usually grab three. We usually grab like three of each Pokemon and compare IVs usually. The thing with IVs, especially in this game, is while IVs typically don't matter, there's gonna be a lot of difficult fights coming up soon that you cannot do over. So you're gonna want decent IVs on your Pokemon. So we're just gonna hunt for one more Eevee. Like, natures really don't matter too much in a playthrough. Is that game playable on my Chrome? It should be. It should be playable. If you want to download it, the Uranium Discord link is down in the description. I can also pull it up really quickly if you need me to. But you can go down there, the people will help you in the Uranium Discord, get it all set up if you need help. But you can download it, it'll come with an installer, you use the installer. And then you should be able to play it. It might be a... Uh, well, that that's how you can download it, because it's not on the internet anymore. Because Nintendo did do a cease and desist when this game was released back in 2016. So, uh, it's probably on the internet somewhere, but the Discord is the safest. The safest way to download it without getting malware. Because you can't trust sites. But your, your Chrome computer should be able to handle it. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell in stream or not. I don't know if it's lagged, but I can feel some areas in this section of the game lagging. Like, the game isn't fully optimized because it was made in a very old version of RPG Maker. And it was released almost 10 years ago at this point. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are currently hunting down one more Eevee so we can compare the IVs and pick out the best one for its evolution. But yeah, since you don't use this cold Tim, I if you don't want to use it, I would suggest just making one. Making one, download the game, get any help you need, and then you don't have to use it after that. But that's where you're going to find a lot of these fan game downloads nowadays is on Discord. Because Nintendo usually doesn't go after that as much. Oops. I did not mean to use strength there. Cool. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Look, excuse me. 
And and the Discord's pretty nice. They're pretty helpful. Oh, we well, can add escape. Cool. All right, we just need one more weaver to pop up. Get some more training in as we go anyways. Because Onyx is close to evolving soon. It's either 40 or 40, maybe it's 45. Like, this, this, the Bashar line has a really late evolutionary line, but as you've seen by most of these streams, this thing is a monster. The thing tears this game to smithereens. Both ability- oh, uh, can't escape- uh, unless we fight- fighting a fairy, good day. Well, Jack Deary's are uh, like our one allergy in this game because <laughs> they're both fighting and fairy. And we're weak to both typings. Uh, bye, Onyx. Bye, Onyx. Sorry, buddy. Go on, give us one more Eevee! I mean, I guess you can identify us. At least we're all getting some decent levels. Awesome! One more Eevee! One, two, all oh, close. I'm afraid to do anything to this thing, so I'm just gonna keep chucking ultra balls at it. One, two, three, awesome. Now we can head back and compare our three Eevees. Well, this game's lagging pretty bad today. Again, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's lagging really bad. Now it's not. This game's weird. Alright, adaptability, adaptability, and run away. Quiet, bold, which doesn't matter. Like, it's attacking stat doesn't really matter. And then we have lax. Which, honestly, this one's garbage, so I'm not even gonna consider it. Out of these two, I'm probably gonna take this one. Because it has a little bit more speed, more attack, and its special attack is through the roof. So, we're gonna take this one. Can't wait, what's the new- Okay, so, the new evolution. The new evolution with this. For one, you're going to want to teach it Shadow Ball before you evolve it, which is after this gym coming up, because it's- this new evolution has one of the most shallowest move pools I have ever seen on a Pokemon. For some reason, Eevee can learn Shadow Ball, its evolution, this new evolution cannot for some reason. And you're gonna want it. You're 100% gonna want it. Wonder what moves we can teach it. I don't think we have anything. Other than return that we can teach it right now. Oh, no, well, no, we can teach it dig. Like, there's there's a lot of stuff that Eevee can learn that it, this evolution cannot for some reason. It's super weird. I mean, facade, secret power, thief, nah, nah. So, we're, we're gonna take on the next gym. 
We'll explode the city probably later on, because we can do that whenever. Uh, actually, we should probably heal first. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We just caught an Eevee. We're going to be taking on this gym so we can see what it evolves into. I forgot my password to my Chrome computer and my dad is helping me. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad your dad's helping you remember it. Like, I personally keep a notebook hidden where I live with passwords and stuff just in case I forget them. Because it does, it does happen. Like, I got locked out of my old Asus laptop years ago. And I couldn't remember the password for the life of me for the longest time. Finesse's Opera House and Gym. So this is an Opera House and a Gym. And this is a sliding puzzle, but it's pretty cool. Hey, that's Paul. Here's the sixth gym you have to beat for the Tando Gym Challenge. Oh, boy, is it a doozy. You have to rely on your wits for this one. These slippery polished flows make you slide all over the place. Not only that, but you will have to be wary of the trapdoors and disguises. Yeah. Lots of psychic type Pokemon in here. So, we're gonna throw Onyx up front since it's a psychic type gym. Like Onyx wasn't, you know, broken enough as it is. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are currently running away from this fairy type. I forgot to also mention that this game is full, this gym is full of fairy types, too, and psychic types. But the thing that I want to get back to with Eevee, make sure if you want the new evolution, you wait. And you sh that rare candy that you get from the professor for, what, getting 10 Pokemon versus 30 in your decks, save it. It will make getting this new evolution so much better, and so much quicker. Ooh, you transformed, huh? Cool. Please don't use Thunderbolt. Okay. Phew. Off. Be gone with the... I mean, if you have a Hop Terra, it's pretty good in this gym, too. Because it doesn't have that glaring weakness to fairy types like Bashaw has. Yeah, fun. Ah, oh, my little sheep. You, I thought this gym was full of psychic types, not fairy types. I'm gonna give you a nice aerial ace. Good day. Get that nice moxie boost going. And I forgot to turn animations back on. Cool, and you copied moxie. That's not good. That's not good. Get rid of it now. Get that moxie boost again. Oh, spritzy. Completely, utterly destroy it. Get another Moxie boost, but I think that's this person's last Pokemon, so it doesn't matter. Let me turn animations back on. Loves look not with the eyes, but with the mind. That is very true. Oh, you have an Espeon, finally! Something I can deal with! I did not know SPR could learn Pain Split. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. So this new Pokemon is masking. It's like Zor <coughs> one Zorwalk. It has Illusion as its ability. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. I wish they added it. it died. See, the thing is, this was made in 2016 and Gen 9... Gen 8 was not out yet, so Dynamax wasn't a thing yet. That's why it's not in this game, and I don't really like Dynamax Max anyways. I like Mega Evolution better, which is in this game. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. 
We are currently taking on the 6th gym in Pokemon Uranium, full of Psychic types. But also full of Fairy types at the same time. But yeah, no. Out of Terrestrialization, Mega Evolutions, and Dynamax, Dynamax is my least favorite. Mega Evolution is my favorite. I didn't think I would like Terrestrialization at first, but that has de definitely been one of the smartest ideas. I actually ended up really liking Terrestrialization. I didn't think I was going to when it was first revealed. But I, I ended up really liking Terrestrialization. But well, it's a pain to... Uh, yeah, it is a pain to Mega Evolve. And they did get Mega Evolutions to stuff like Rayquaza and Mewtwo and Salamence. And stuff that didn't really need it. But I like the fact that Mega Evolution, you have to make a choice. Do you want the Mega Stone? Or do you want some other item that would probably be more useful on that Pokemon? Like, it's... You, you gotta make a choice with Mega Evolution. Like, Dynamax, you can just... Dy any Pokemon can Dynamax, and you can hold an item. That's all it is, too, and Terrestrialization's the same way. With Mega Evolution, you have a choice. Would this Pokemon be better with, say, like, a Focus Sash? Or would it be better with, say, you know, a Life Orb? Or is it Mega really powerful and broken, and it's better with that? And then you gotta think of also too. What if you're running multiple Pokemon that can Mega Evolve? Like, which one do you Mega Evolve? And then the other one, if it holds a Mega Stone, it's not useful. Something like Kangaskhan. Like, let's say you have a Kangaskhan and a Charizard. They both can Mega Evolve. You go into a battle and Mega Evolve the Kangaskhan for its broken ability. The Charizard's just kind of sitting there, then, because it's just a Charizard. So you always gotta make a choice with Mega Evolution, and that's what I like about it. With Terrestrialization, you click the Terrestrialize button, and you don't really think about it after that. You pick the best, you know, defensive typing, Water, Fairy. And you just kinda roll with it. Ooh, please be your last Pokemon, Sonic, that's a pain. And while Dynamax... You just go big. You double your HP for three turns. To me, that was one of the laziest gimmicks we've had over the years. I I did not like Dynamaxing whatsoever. That and drug the battles on for freaking ever. Like Dynamax eventually take what, like 20 minutes per run? Just to find a shiny. And if you're shiny hunting, it's a nightmare. Ooh, we're gonna jump right over. Very nice. Ah, Challenger approaches. So I see you have overcome the device's sliding flow puzzles and surpassed my understudies. But do you have the wisdom to solve the final puzzle? Show me in battle. Yeah, you thought this was a gym leader. This is not the gym leader. This is a random trainer. Which, when I first played this game, I thought that was one of the coolest twists of this gym, is that you, you, you would think that this would be the gym leader. Okay, you can stop pain splitting, but Dynamax Eevee is, yes, Dynamax Eevee is so floofy. I didn't like the Dynamax forms, because again, they were given, the G-Max forms were given to Pokemon that didn't really need it. Like, did Charizard really need two Mega Evolutions? And a special Dynamax form? And be the only Canto starter available until DLC? Like, did Charizard really need all that? I think not. That's what I don't like. That's what I don't like about Mega Evolutions, and I don't like about Dynamaxing. Is they give the special treatment to special Pokemon. Terrestrialization treats all Pokemon the same. Every Pokemon can terrestrialize, and I think Ogre Pond is the only one that has a special form when it terrestrializes. Which makes sense. Alright, cool. So we drop down, and this is the gym leader. 
all the worlds, the stage, and all the men and women melee players. They have the exits and they have the entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. His acts begin seven ages. Let me tell you a story. There was once a little girl who dreamt of being a star in the opera. But the theater was steep in odd traditional views and women were not allowed to perform on stage. So she came up with a plan. She cut off all her hair, put on boys clothes and auditioned as a boy. It worked. She got the part. And when she acted on stage, she dazzled and enchanted everybody that came to see her plays. But this wasn't enough for her. In the world of lies and deception, she grew tired of the biggest misconception of all. So one day, she left her boy's clothes and concealing makeup behind. When the curtains rose, the audience saw her for what she really was, the beloved star, a woman. The audience was struck dumb because they could not deny what they knew to be true in their hearts. That she, a woman, could act as well as any man. From then on, there was a challenge. The theater changed. The policies of women could attend. As for the girl, well, that girl is me. I am Rosalind, star of the stage and the gym leader of Phoenice City. You have done well overcoming trickery and deception to find your way here. Yeah, so this gym leader pulled a Mulan. This gym leader pulled a Mulan. And it's pretty cool. I read that story for the first time and laughed so hard. Okay, Drasma. This is the evolution of masking. And that was a pretty cool animation. Because some of those Pokemon we haven't even seen yet. But it's just masking. It's a masking disguised as its evolution. Which is pretty funny. But yeah, no, when I first read Rosalind's, like, theater performance, I, like, laughed incredibly hard reading that. And it took a lot not to laugh now and keep a straight face. It was pretty funny. To pull a moon line like that. Goodbye, masking. That's the one thing I like about this game is just the overwhelming charm it brings. Wonder Tango, this is Jack Dealing's evolution. It's pretty cool looking. Oh, you did, I did not see that you typed. I risk Eevee had a mega, ah! I mean, it got a Z crystal, which was pretty cool. There's a fan game out there that gives Eevee a mega evolution, and it's pretty cool. I might, stream that game one day we will see oh and you missed your high jump kick excellent goodbye cool 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 so long winter tango i like that design though that the winter tango is pretty cool fake him on in this game ah uh, no you don't need shadow ball Mass Demic. This is Spritzy's other evolution. This is a poison dark type plague doctor. And I wish this is what Spritzy evolved into normally because it is so cool looking. Like, just look at that. That is what Spritzy sort of evolved into to begin with. I don't know why it didn't. We could have had a cool plague doctor. Oh, oh, you're gonna send out duplicate? I mean. Oh, I, I, I guess, but by duplicate. Oh, no. I've never seen her withdraw so many times. What is going on here? Rosalind's a bit confused. Hop Terra gains an evolution though. Very nice. I mean, it's not gonna do you any good, Duplicat. Good day. 
Wow. A psychic type gym and our dark type sheep did absolutely nothing. Drasma! This is her ace and it's level 45. But we'll get a U turn and come close to one shotting it. Get Ika out there for some action. Yeah, no, I like Drasma's design. Like, it's it's just overall a very cool design. Ah, okay. Yoshi, you wanna finish this off? Hello, hello! Welcome to the stream! We're currently fighting the 6th gym leader of Pokemon Uranium. And almost won. And actually won. Good job, Yoshi. Spectacularly done, you who deserve this drama badge. And at long last, the Clown King of the Royal Fool, the Crown Jester, has become. Hello, Crown Jester! We just beat the sixth gym leader? Oh, and I pinged myself by accident. <laughs> no, that's okay. I know, it's just. That's what Drasmon does. It has disguises and ability, so it changes. And that animated sprite's new. But, Crown Jester, you're just in time because we're about to evolve the Eevee we caught a little while ago into the brand new evolution. And we get the lovely drama badge, and we get TM92 Trick Room. Drasma, I know, isn't Drasma so cool? I forgot to put Eevee on the um, layout. Oops. Look at me, and no one said anything. Love Nucleon. Yes, Nucleon is amazing. Now we can go get Nucleon, now that we can go get Shadow Ball. Oh, we got a phone call. Professor Bambo, what's up, buddy? Hey, I heard you took out your six gym badge. How did I know that? Well, the gym guy told me, of course. Whoa, drinking buttons! I just got back, I didn't realize you even... Yeah, we got an Eevee a little while ago. Wow, so the professor likes to drink. That's funny, from college. Well, enough about that. I'm sure you're probably wondering, what do I do now? Well, the answer is, that's up to you. There's two more gyms to beat before you can challenge the Android Warrior Champion, well, Regional Championship. One in Tuscanami Village to the south, but I don't know if they'll let you enter. They only allow in those that have proven themselves. So you better have head note to Snow Bank Town. You have to go through... Mock King Cave to start your journey there. It's a fairly long way up the peak. Yeah. Want to complete your decks? Yeah, yeah. Something about the decks. Call to DPS on his park pal. He is currently training on Mock Island. You should find him there. Oh, so Theo's near the labyrinth we gotta go to. That's pretty cool. Now. For the people that don't know how to evolve Eevee into the new nuclear type Pokemon. Well, it's new nuclear type form. We're gonna be leaving one Pokemon behind for now. You need a nuclear type Pokemon in your party to evolve Eevee into its new evolution. It could be any nuclear type. This is why I highly suggest that that you saved a rare candy because it just makes the evolution easier. Now, if you want Eevee to evolve into an Abreon, an Espeon, or any of its other evolutions, you have to remove the nuclear Pokemon from your party. It will take priority over that. This Theo, but we'll deal with him in a minute. Drawing Golet is so difficult, its body is just a ball, so my. Anatomical understanding of all is just use. Yeah. We enter the labyrinth, though. And we're gonna fight a trainer. This is where you find Shadow Ball. Yeah, Pokemon drawing's just hard to do in general. Again, I highly recommend you teach your Eevee Shadow Ball. Because this is the last chance you're gonna get to do it if you evolve it any earlier. And this is the earliest you can actually evolve your, well, 
evolve your Eevee. This is the earliest you can get your Eevee with Shadow Ball. It'll all makes sense in a minute. I believe Shadow Ball is over this way. We're gonna throw on a repel though. It, I I know it's somewhere around here. Full restore. Ah, ambushed. But yeah, no, I have a comical understanding to try to draw Pokemon just does not work. Crown Jester. Just no, just like I can't draw at all. So my drawing goal at cause my PMDOC is. A oh, that's cool. Wow, we should have probably healed. We probably should have healed, but I wanted to show off the new evolution for Tim. Because he's been waiting. I've been drawing Pokemon my whole life, so most of them I can do. Yeah, no, I, I mentioned this multiple times. I suck at drawing. Like, I think even drawing a stick figure would come out wrong with me. I have no artistic prowess at all. Which is sad in a way. Because I wanted to be good at drawing at one point in my life, and I tried. I just don't have the dexterity to do it. Now, it's Shadow Ball down this way, I believe so. No. We get Link Tight. This thing is a trade evolution, and its evolution is that big giant chain monster, that Dra Drasma. Evolved into, well, not evolved, changed into in the um, previous battle. This thing's creepy. This is a creepy Pokemon. PewDiePie got good at art drawing a bit every day for. I tried for years to do that. Like, I even took art classes in school. And just, I can't draw. I took all clip. Oh yeah, one thing to know about Link Tight, um, it's weak, extremely weak. So uh, any attack will probably one shot it. But yeah, no, I, uh, I wanted to learn how to draw. I gave up after a couple years. I could probably go back and try again, but mm. I think even a Giga Drain would kill it. Yeah. Yeah, Link Tight's cool. It's just really weak, so you're gonna want to evolve it like immediately. Slavery. Yep, pretty much. I know Shadow Ball is around here somewhere. Damn, we got spotted. <laughs> Espeon! Yeah, no, it, it, Link Tight's creepy. When I first saw it, I was like, what the? What kind of Pokemon is that? My goal at o OCS name is Girth, a reference to Hog Growth, the main humanoid character from the movie Iron. Oh! I haven't seen the Iron Giant in a long time. Umbreon, what's up, my buddy, my mascot, my favorite evolution? Nah. Yeah. Well. Zeta's getting a pounding. <laughs> Might I say insurance looks really cool in this game. Now you get the critical hit when it doesn't matter, Zeta. Good job. Is Shadow Ball up here? It might be up here. Oh, wait. I should put the two Pokemon commissions I didn't... You should! I want to see them. Oh, we got an expert belt, which is useful. Is it here? Max repel. 
Huh. We cannot find Shadow Ball. I know it's around here. Somewhere it's around here. Mock Punch. I play the Friday Night Punch game. I don't know what that is, either. But yeah, no, Crown Jester, put your art commission definitely in the art channel. I want to see it when I'm done. Oh god, Yoshi, be my savior. Jack, would you stop licking your carrot, please? My cat has this freaking carrot. Huh. Okay, no, it wasn't you, Jack. Sorry. Windy outside. Huh. Really windy outside. Leave Jack alone. No, he's licking his carrot creepily. Oh, Falcon! This is the bat Pokemon I was telling you about. That looks super cool. It gets Life Drain, which heals it. And then its ability Bloodlust heals it. And I think we're about to die. I want it to... Oh, and might I say the back sprite to Eevee looks really weird in this game. I am a sucker for the- Me too. Yeah, nope. We're about to be completely wrecked by a random trainer. Cool. This is fun. Now. We tried. Yep, nope. We got wrecked. Vilgax? You mean Vilgax from Ben 10? Yes, I know who that is. I loved Ben 10 as a growing up as a kid. Vilgax is one of my favorite supervillains. Right? Like, the original Ben 10 and then Alien Force are some of my favorite animated shows. I didn't think I would like Ben 10 at first. Then I watched it as a kid and I'm like, this is cool. And became, like, super obsessed with it. Yes, we'll use another repel. I know Shadow Ball's around here somewhere. Is it up here? No, we found a life orb, though. I love Vilgak. Perfect example of a force of nature character written. I know, right? Like, Vilgax is strong and terrifying looking. So you- Oh! We found a Baryatite! This Mega Stone... Uh... Is used to Mega Evolve Baryat. What is a Baryat? Uh... We'll get to that later. Cause Baryat's pretty cool. And it's Mega's even cooler. Okay, I know Shadow Ball's in here somewhere. There we go! TM30 Shadow Ball! And TM65 Shadow Claw! I knew it was in here somewhere. I would highly recommend, though, to, just to make sure that your Eevee actually evolves correctly. Get rid of anything else, like, I'm gonna teach Eevee Toxic really quick. To get rid of Charm. Cause that, it, it conflicts one another. Teach a Shadow Ball too. Before I forget, I almost evolved it without doing this. Zeta, you can learn Shadow Ball too. That's cool. Well, it's time. Tim, I hope you're ready to see Eevee. And it's new evolution. No, we don't need baton pass. Do, 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 do. We get Nucleon! 
Miroko. Ah, uh, no, we don't need Miroko. We get Nucleon. This is the first instant of a non-feral Nucleotype Pokemon. Nucleon will obey you 100% of the time, unlike Nucleo Pokemon that you catch in the wild. This is a feral Nucleo Pokemon that has a chance of disobeying you and not listening and attacking you. Nucleon will not do this. It also gets an ability to call Atomize, which normal type moves become nuclear type moves. It does look cool. Now, Nucleon learns Hyper Voice. And nuclear type moves are super effective. This gives a 1.3 time multiplier, like Refrigerate, Aerialate. It changes types to nuclear and it gives it a power boost. You can also teach this thing Hyper Beam. And it completely nukes everything. You want Shadow Ball on it because. Shadow Ball would be super effective on every other Nuclear-type Pokemon while you resist every other Nuclear-type Pokemon. You can go ahead and teach it, like, Toxic if you want. Like, you can have Toxic on it. You're gonna be mainly spamming Hyper Voice when it learns it. This thing is an absolute behemoth of a Pokemon. It will carry you through the rest of the game. Uh, like, I put this thing up front with a life orb my first time playing in the Elite Four in the championship and one shot at everything. The nuclear type I used when I played was Xena Queen's really good too. Like, I'm a sucker for evolutions though, so I went with Nucleon. Unfortunately, as you can see, it has a pretty low attack stat. 45 attack is. Not really good, but it's pretty fast, and it doesn't have the same base stat totals of other evolutions. It has, a, I think, a slightly higher base stat total. But yeah, no, Xena Queen's really cool. It just comes really late for me, anyways. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. You can also give it an expert belt too if you don't want the life orb recoil. But yeah, no. Nucleon is one of the most busted Pokemon in the game. If you have a Nucleon, you will not lose a lot of battles. And the funny thing is, Theo actually gets a Nucleon too. So he becomes quite the threat. <laughs> With that being said, though, I'm gonna add Nucleon to the layout before I forget. There we go. And we got the team all here now. We're gonna go grab Hot Terra from the PC. Whatever Hot Terra might be. I'm gonna heal up too, we might as well heal up when we're at it. I forget what it's called, but... I know there's a couple non-Feral Nuclear type Pokemon you can use, most of them come too late though. That's the problem. Eh, no, we shouldn't need a Repel. But my favorite Pokemon Uranium Mom was the um big fat. Oh, uh, da -da 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 -da. I know what you're talking about. Where is it? Phalanga or something? Yeah, Freelung. That sleeps. With yeah, Freelanga. What evolves from Freelung? We haven't seen one yet. Yeah, no, I really like that because its ability is. Flinger, yeah. Because, you know, its ability isn't really bad because it can learn sleep talk. Oh, that thing is so busted, it's not even funny. Now, you might see Theo here. It's slacking, but, un but usable. Yeah, no, it's very usable because sleep can easily be walked around. Now, with Theo here, 
If you are running low on levels at this point, I suggest you talk to Theo because you can battle him infinitely. You can sit here and battle Theo infinitely at this point in the game. And you can get a lot of money and a lot of VXP very quickly. I would highly suggest that everyone at least gets the Pokemon to like 45. Oh, as close to 45 as you can stand grinding. Because where we're going up next has a huge level spike. Oh, oh, I almost killed Zeta. But the next area we're going up north has a massive level spike, and the gym leaders will, the gym leader there, the seventh gym leader, will have level 55 Pokemon. So you're gonna wanna be level 45 before going through the cave to go up north. Oh, you have a say blue too. Too bad it's not shiny. Rain day. Oh, that just helps me even further, thanks. Thank you very much, Theo. Nice, we get to level 42. Heracles, good day. But yeah, no, Freelong is Flango. It's pretty cool. I did like it. Hello, Metalinks. We should probably throw the XP share on Gamma, though. That makes the most sense. Ooh, you got Leaf Blade. That's gonna hurt. you survive a flame wheel? Can you survive a flame throw? Yes, you can. Flame body? Nice. With flame body, we can try to see if Gamma can live a hit. Oh no, Gamma's... Gamma's faster than Metalinks. That's cool. Like I said, you can battle him infinitely. So we're probably gonna sit here for a little bit just to do that. Where is the EXP share? I know I have it. There it is. And what you can do too, so you don't have to run all the way back to town. I don't know what would be faster, honestly. But you can come up Hi, Spritzy. Ah, huh, well, we can show. Take down! Super effective. And even with our low attack stat, Nucleon just wrecks everything in its path. It is highly worth getting a Nucleon. Like, I will gush about this thing forever. And when it gets Hyper Voice, it's gonna be that much better. But I don't know if going to the doctor up there or going back into town to heal is quicker. I have no clue what's quicker. Let me turn off animations too. See? And you can battle them infinitely! If you're having trouble with money too, this is a good thing to do as well. Probably the doctor, because the fact that you have- yeah. I always use the doctor, but I've never really, like, timed what would be faster. I haven't really timed what would be faster. But yeah, the surfing prompt kind of gets in the way of that. That adds a few seconds. And this is what I was talking about, about Uranium having great design. 
they knew the area coming up was going to have a lot of high-level Pokemon. So they gave you an infinite trainer to battle. And Theo's levels are really high, so it gives out a lot of good EXP. You won't be grinding here for too long. Like, you see all that EXP? It's a crazy amount of EXP. Oh, we're gonna be doing this rain dance thing again, huh? Like, 651. 651 for Gamma. Like, that's, well, over 1300 EXP. If you were to not have the EXP share. Like, that, that, that's pretty good EXP. And well, you know, if you're playing with music, Theo's theme isn't that obnoxious. It's actually a pretty catchy theme. Oh, wow, you actually landed an Iron Tail. That's not cool. You won't leave this flamethrower this time out of lakes. Good day, sir. Yeah, and you're gaining over 3,000 Poke Dollars per run, too. Emmedes did a fantastic job. Oh, yeah, no, the soundtrack in this game is phenomenal. Like, I catch myself listening to the soundtrack on my free time. That's how good of a job he did on this soundtrack. Like, it's a phenomenal soundtrack. All around. Hello, hello! Welcome to the stream. We are currently playing Pokemon Uranium. We just got this wonderful new evolution called Nucleon. Its ability changes all normal type moves into nuclear moves and gives it a power boost. And it's one of the most broken Pokemon in the game. But yeah, no, the soundtrack. This soundtrack's just phenomenal. The train of battle theme, the town routes, the town themes. Like, even the wild battle theme is fantastic. There isn't a single theme in this game that doesn't pop. Finally got a pose for the goal up there. Yay! Awesome! See, that's one of the things about art, too, is I always have a hard time. Well, what do I want it to look like? Ooh, that quick attack wasn't nice. Can you learn return? I think return would be better than takedown, honestly. Yes, you can actually learn return. That's nice. Shadow Ball. I mean, sunny day is nice, and growth is nice, but we're not really using that combo anymore, so we're teaching Shadow Ball. Zeta can use a little bit more coverage, honestly. But yeah, no, the the devs did a phenomenal job on this. It's this and Pokemon Insurgents. I love Pokemon Insurgents too, and I'm thinking I might stream that one day. Cause Surgeons deserves more love. And has a lot of cool fake mon in it too. Oh, po yeah, Pokemon Insurgents, like... Yeah, no. The game's fun. When I first played... It was on my old... Oh, so you don't have your save file anymore? Cause I remember when I first played in Sh Surgeons, it was on an old laptop. 
and right when I was nearing the end of the story. <coughs> Eight badges, gotta do story stuff before the E4 and stuff, yeah. Splendor Fowl. My hyper voice, man. Oh, God. I'm gonna U turn right out. My laptop died and I had to replace it with it. Oh, man. Yep, nope, I know how that feels. When I first played Pokemon Insurgents, I found a shiny Weedle. And it was on an old computer. And the computer died. And I lost that save file. And I was super mad about that because I didn't back it up for some reason. I was able to back up my uranium save, though. Somehow. I didn't think of backing up my insurgent save with, you know, the shiny. But. It is what it is. I back everything up now for that exact reason. Ah, oh, say blue, I'm out of here. I'm assuming the starter you you go with. No, actually, that is not it. The starter I went with is Delta Bulbasaur because I like the way it looks. I seen we had an Eevee, and it's like, well, that's cool. But I used I use Eevee like all the time. And you know, Eevee's cool and all. I love Eevee. I don't always want to use one. At for, for real, I love Delta Bulbasaur. It, it's a super creative design. Like, I like all three of the Delta Starters and Insurgents. I think all three are incredibly creative designs. I think the Delta Bulbasaur, Delta um, Charmander and Squirtle kind of get the shaft because you run into a lot of dark and fighting types early on and they're both weak to those types. So, like, the Delta Bulbasaur just makes the most sense. Psychic Fairy is a really broken type that early on. If you did another playthrough of Insurgents to stream, which starter would you go? I would probably go, like, I've done one with, um, Squirtle, and I've done one with Bulbasaur. I would probably go with Charmander, but I might go with Bulbasaur again. Or I might actually make a community vote. Like, I, I might let you guys vote on what you would want to... C for a starter. And I'm, I, I'm, like, on the fence. I'm trying to decide if I want to do an Insurgents playthrough on stream because it's a very, very long game. Like, Insurgents is longer than this game. It has so much content to it. And it's a very hard game, too. Yeah, no, I, I, it, it would probably be Charmander, because I do like Delta Charizard. It's really cool looking, and I haven't used it yet. I have used Bulbasaur, Delta Bulbasaur, a couple times. I played Insurgents a couple times. Yeah, and, um, Nucleon can learn Conversion too, which is usually signature to always only Polygon. So it's kind of weird. It's a weird one-off move, Nucleon. I don't see it. I mean, I guess Conversion 2 could be useful because you could change its typing and then not be weak to everything under the sun while still hitting everything super effectively with Atomize. I'm using Delta Blastoise in the most recent playthrough I've done. See, I use Delta Squirtle for a playthrough, and oh my god, the beginning of the game was so difficult. I also have Delta Ambipom and almost... How is Delta Ambipom? Because I seen Delta Ambipom, and it's like, oh, that that's that's cool. 
but I know Delta Pokemon hold the same base stats as his normal counterparts, and I know Ambipom doesn't have the best stats on the planet. Oh, you're so I uh, have. Uh, yeah! Like, everything was hitting Squirtle super effectively. There wasn't a single battle that didn't hit Squirtle super effectively in the early game. For what, the, like the first three gyms? So I gave up on that playthrough, restart it, picked Bulbasaur. Because I knew if I picked Charmander with his ghost typing, it was going to have the same issues. And I just... Went with Bulbasaur and steamrolled the early game, and then I, once I got it to Venusaur and Kamega Evolve, it steamrolled the rest of the game. Delta Ambipom is good. Frail if you want to, like, smack and switch, but I really enjoyed using... Huh. Ah, maybe I'll use one if I play the game again. Because, like, we get so many Deltas in the main story. I also got Delta Snorlax. Oh, Delta Snorlax is so broken. Delta Gallade's really fun. Delta Garnivore is really fun, too. Oh my god, say blue, would you stop dying? I'm using Delta Gallade. I use Delta Garnivore because I like Garnivore over Gallade, and that's just probably my Gen 3 bias popping out. Ooh, gotta swap you right. Like, I like Gallade. I don't like Gallade's stat distribution. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We are currently just doing a little grind session before heading up to the next gym in Pokemon Uranium. We got an infinite trainer. We might as well use it to grind some money right now. Okay, Yoshi, I didn't know you could learn extreme speed. That's pretty cool. Get rid of Brit Break. That that I didn't know Yoshi could learn extreme speed. I mean, it makes sense for a Raptor to be able to run fast. But cool. Extreme speed's pretty nice. Oh, I've played a alongside a friend who loves Gone of Water. She is normal. I promise you. So I thought it would be fun to mirror on one another. That would be fun to do one day. Yeah, no, that that's fun. Uh, yeah, no, not everyone that likes Gone of Voyeur is a creep, I know. Like, I, I think I did we were talking about this earlier, like how the internet got a hold of, you know, Vaporeon and everything else and just kind of ruined it like I don't get the internet's obsession when gone a boyer it's Japanese name means sir knight so it could be a male it could be a male so I don't get why they do what the internet does oh and look at that nucleons almost caught up with the rest of the team already See what I mean by it's broken? Like, it was level 33 just a little while ago. We haven't been grinding that long. Hello, Eevee. I'm so glad I didn't run into level 26, one of you. Good day. Now all the Eevees want to pop up. It's not like I didn't spend 30 minutes trying to get one. Oh, I shout 10. We should be about to outspeed now. Trust me, Nucleon will get better once it gets Hyper Voice. Once it gets that special move, it's game over for the rest of this game. But it's going to be stuck. We'll return to physical moves for a while. Do we have the Calm Mind team? We do not. Good to know. But yeah, no. 
Pokemon Insurgents, a lot of the Pokemon are cool. I'll probably play it on stream eventually. It'll probably be after Uranium's up, to be honest. But we'll have to, I'll have to fill that Pokemon void. Because, you know, it is Pokemon and it does do better than my Minecraft stuff. And Nucleon gets a critical hit. Awesome. Ooh, and we gain a butt-ton of EXP. <laughs> See, now Nucleon's really starting to, like, just destroy everything. I mean, we're also getting slightly destroyed, but... See, Nucleon just swept half of Theo's team. We're gonna be swapping out those so we don't have to keep running to the doctor. Oh, don't hit five times. Oh, don't do this. Please don't do this. So rude. Theo, what do you have against my snail? Apparently everything. So we're gonna have to go back to the doctor anyways. Yeah, no, Nucleon has destroyed Theo. This is pretty funny, actually. Cause we're almost, we've gained seven levels so far. Flame body? No. Good day, Metalinx. But yeah, no, we'll probably either do Pokemon Insurgents next. If you guys want to see that. Oh, there is another fan game that I've been slowly playing through. And it's called Pokemon Eon Guardians. And it's really cool. Oh, my nose. I don't know. Why my nose is it so itchy? But yeah, no, Pokemon Eon Guardians was made to be like a Gen 4 game. And it's what's really nice about it is the starters have a 1 in 20 chance to be shiny. So like, I tested it. I found like sh 5 shiny starters in the span of like 20 minutes. 20, 30 minutes, something like that. So we might do that game, we might do Pokemon Insurgents. I know there's other fan games out there that are a little bit shorter that we might end up doing at some point. It really all depends on what I feel like playing and what you guys want to see. Because it seems like you, the Crown Jester, you like Insurgents. And I like Insurgents. And I do like, I do like giving games that have fake them on more of the spotlight because, well, we've seen Gen 1 through 4 Pokemon so many times by now. Can we one-shot yet? We can close to one-shotting. Very nice. Maybe Poison Jab not kill me this time? I think I'm doing a custom design for the cast of PMD EOS, what do you think I should do first? The Treasure Townies, the Guild, Team Charm. All oh, Pokemon explodes the sky. Um, I would love to see the Guild, personally. That would be awesome to see. Of doing custom designs for them. Maybe do that and then do the treasure townies. I'm I'm curious, Crown Jester, who did you play as? Who was your Pokemon in Explores the Sky? Cause I started as a Shinx. And my partner was a Vulpix. Ooh, I do have Drain Punch. Cause I know Shinx doesn't have the best move pool. My very first playthrough gave Bidoof a little cowboy hat. 
Oh, so, um... Oh, I love Bidoof. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was reading chat. Cool. Thanks, Theo. Well, now that Nucleon's actually caught up with everyone else, we can get rid of the EXP share and give it the Expo Belt. Now we're really gonna be doing some damage. Where is the Expert Belt? There it is. This area is just laggy. Very, very, very laggy. Probably make a save just in case the game crashes too. I usually don't do this on stream, but I don't really want to lose this good Nucleon that we got. And pray to God this live stream doesn't corrupt in some way. But yeah, no, like, I hold Mystery Dungeon extremely close to me, Crown Jester. It's my f preferred spin-off game for Pokemon. Like, people like Rangers usually, I like Mystery Dungeon. Couldn't get into the Rangers game, I tried. I tried to get into the Rangers game. Couldn't do it. I got Explorers of Sky as a gift from my grandfather. I loved him very near and dearly, so when he passed in 2011, I started to see Explorers of Sky as his game. So every year, I make it a point to replay it every... Oh my god, that's incredibly sweet and sad at the same time. Wow. I am sorry for your loss, Crown Jester, but at the same time... That's an amazing way to keep the memory of him alive. Is by doing that. I tried to play Mystery Dungeon at least once a year as well. I tried to play Explosive Sky at least a couple times a year if possible. This year playthrough was a Shinx and a Munchlax. Ooh, how does Munchlax fan the game? I always wanted to try it, but I, it doesn't feel right to not have Shinx Volpex as my duo. I've done that so many times. Like, I heard Munchlax is pretty good. Has to be a lot better than Shinx. Because Shinx is move pool. Oh my good god. You are using Spark and Charge as your go-to move in Mystery Dungeon. And we'll be doing nothing else pretty much in the entire game. Like, I like Shinx and all. I like using it as a starter choice, but... Ugh. Munchlax is so incredibly strong, insanely bulky, and gets access to Metronome and Zedhen, but super early. So, it's fun. It sits there and just... Oh my god, that's cool. I'll have to give Munchlax a try at some point. Maybe my next playthrough I'll do a not Shanks and Volpix run. It's gonna feel wrong at first. But I did I did do one run one year as a Ray I was a Rayolu and what was it? Eevee? And that was pretty fun. Rayolu's pretty good, it's movable's kind of shallow, but fighting's just good in Mystery Dungeon. Wow! Nucleon, you're almost level 45 already. Good god. And yep, yep, nope, that's what Munchlax and Snorlax does. It just sits there and kind of eats damage all day long. And see, even with a really low attack stat, Nucleon just destroys everything in its path. Eh, 
Well, we're about to get destroyed. Yep. Well, Heracles. You. Paraloin. You suck. For killing my nuclear. That's the one downside to use the Nucleon, is multi-hit moves will probably kill it. And it also gets rollout in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon moves like rollout fury. Oh yeah, no, multi-hit moves in Mystery Dungeon are a death sentence if you use them. Well, that's if you can hit them, because they're really, really inaccurate. For good reason. Do we have a revive? I don't think we have a revive. We do not. Back to the Poke Center we go. Yeah, but no, multi-hit moves. Ugh. I remember in um, Red Rexu team when we were in Mount Blaze. Fairy attack, death sentence. Name is Genshin. That's a pretty cool name for a Munchlax. Or Ginch. How can you pronounce it? I'm terrible at pronunciation, so if I butcher anything anyone types in chat, I apologize ahead of time. The G is silent. Ah, so. So it's like, name? Ninch? Oh no, my phone's at 15%. Give me one second, I gotta go plug it in. Alright, and the phone lives! Nah, and then the end of the world. Ah. So the G is silent, so it's like. Mm, so, nanish. Like, nah, and then the end of the world. Shit, so nanish. I think. I probably still butchered it. Which wouldn't surprise me. And as you can see, Nucleon is the first that's gonna hit level 45 and it's now one-shotting pretty much everything. You did, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, nope, I butcher most things I try to pronounce. Nucleon! Stop being overpowered! Herloin, I'm here for my revenge. Wow, still can't one-shot you. Ha! You missed your bone rush this time. Good day. Oh, Metalink's the only thing that can withstand my onslaught and nuclear power. But Metalink's, you cannot withstand fire. So, be gone with the... Yeah, nope. Crown Jester, I will butcher everything probably for the rest of my life. When it comes to pronunciation. Uh, I'd give that to Nucleon. 
Give us a little bit more HP. Oh wait, yeah. What's up, Crown Jester? What did you just realize? You gotta update, uh, what's the green and yellow thing's name. Oh, Noopin? I did- Oh, I did put freaking um, Jelen up. Good eye. Yeah, I didn't update that. Good eye. It's not like Yoshi and our- you know, overpowered sheep that sat there for so many things. Yeah, that's... There we go, yeah. And Nucleon's learning hypervoice naturally. And just to prove to you how overpowered this thing is... One shot. One shot. <laughs> Heroin lived our return. One shot. This is why you only need hyper voice on this thing unless you're fighting nuclear Pokemon. You put the expo belt on it, and that's what Nucleon's gonna do the rest of the game. It is going to one-shot everything in its way. And it's not going to stop one-shotting everything in its way. It will just sit there and continuously do that for the rest of the game. And then it's so incredibly broken. It's honestly quite disgusting that the devs even allowed something like this to exist. Why would you give this thing hyper voice and its ability? And that special attack stat's disgusting as well. We're gonna be swapping it out. Say blue should be evolving soon-ish. 44, 45, something like that. But yeah, there we go. I forgot to update when it evolved. And that's been probably sitting... Yeah, it evolved this episode, so that's probably been sitting there for a good hour and a half. I started replaying Pale World recently. I ended up catching a cow. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, and I had no idea I had such a funny run at it. Yeah. I gotta get back to trying to play Pale World. I do, I like the concept of Pale World. I might- maybe I'll stream it sometime. That's like my computer can handle streaming and running the game at the same time. Computer is quite old. Goodbye, Splendid Fowl. Please get something other than magnet. Well, it's not magnitude six. I did ask for not not a magnitude six. I didn't really want it to give me a magnitude five. Make it interesting by trying to survive the public. Oh God. Are the public servers that bad? Oh, no, I didn't want to use my slime. Oh, but it flinched, so it's okay. I didn't even know Pale World had public servers. I have no idea, I just know people shoot at one- oh. That's fun. 
That, that, that sounds like a horrible time, but it would be amusing for you guys to watch. Yes, Theo, we know you want to save your dad. I wonder how much money we're up to. 119,000. Not bad. Well, we shouldn't have a problem with money anymore. Which would be super nice. I know this is probably not the most exciting thing we could be doing right now, but this is the easiest way to grind right now. This is better than grinding on wild Pokemon later on. And more than likely what I'm going to be doing with our, um, with Dexter is I'm going to be grinding him off screen so he can stay up to date with everyone else. So if we want to swap him in for a battle, he's ready. Instead of having to gr do a grind session for him too. Ooh, Rain Dance, that's gonna help so much. Can we one shot? Oh, close. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta swap right out. But yeah, no, public service appeal, well, that seems incredibly, uh, not fun. That does not seem like a fun time. But it seems like it would make funny content. I have also started drawing a character for- Oh! What's your character for Pale World? I like Pale World. It's slow going through because I want to like... Ooh, Zeta wants to learn Recover! I mean... Mm. Yeah, we can always teach Sunny Day again if we need to. Catch each of the pails they had before drawing them. Yeah. You can do something like that, that is true. Ouch. I told you, this thing's a menace. It's a very, very good evolution for Spritzy. So, I don't. I only have one of the five, so, I'll, so yeah, that does sound like it would take a while. Getting everyone up, they were almost ready to move on from Theo. Thank God. A lot of healing items, though. The ones I have is Dig Toast. I love them and I call them Troopa. That's pretty cool. I have no clue what that is. I gotta get back to Pale World eventually. Don't crit. Thank you. Really, Splenda Fowl? You died from Surf last time. I wanna get Mosker. I'm not even gonna pronounce those. Lux, not sure what the other ones to get though. One has to be. Yeah, I have no clue. I don't know much about Pale World, cause it. One, it's still kinda new ish, and two, I haven't sunk a lot of time into it. 
I probably should get back to sinking some time into it. Like I said, I'll see if my computer can handle streaming it. And if it can, maybe we'll do some fun stuff with it. Can we get something other than magnitude 5 this time? Please? I think Surf would probably do more damage. Yeah. One hit. Oh, I already read that. <laughs> I thought something new came in. Theo, you're making me go crazy grinding on you. One thing the devs are add to uranium in the next update, a speed up button. I don't know how long we've been grinding for. Oh, you're almost, I think you evolve at 45, so you're almost there. Cool. Oh, one more. We can do one more wild battle. Now you get the magnitude 8 where it doesn't matter. And a crit on top of it. And we gotta do one more battle. Cool. You get magnitude eight again on wild Pokemon. Say blue, what are you doing with your life? I do still want to show you casket press, especially considering tomorrow's news about the upcoming multiplayer update. Oh, really? Casket beasts, not press. I read that wrong. And say blue's finally evolving! Enter it, Escastrus? Yeah, Escastrus. This way I said this Pokemon looks cool! This Pokemon looks awesome evolved! And now I can do 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 do. Where are you? Fix you. Pull chat back up. See, this this thing looks pretty cool, and it has decent stats, really good HP. So. Like, it looks really cool, and I'm glad we got one shiny. S. Cat. Car. Stra. As an S. Car. Go. And Fortress. Yeah, I think that's what they were going with. I'm gonna butcher a lot of these names, too, but. Yeah, no, it, it's a very cool shiny. And it's a very cool design. Like, it's like Gastrodon, but 20 times cooler. It, it's like what happens if a Gastrodon and, like, uh, um, not Sandy Gas. What's Palosand had a baby. Or, like, fused together. Yeah, no, fused. If you fuse the Sandy Gas or uh, a Palosand with a Gastrodon, it, was co it would come out as this thing. That, that's going to be my headcanon for the rest of the playthrough. And really all we got to do is evolve Bariat. Not Bariat. Well, that's what, you know, our sheep evolves into. Boss Calf does evolve into Bariat. And that that's the only thing. Other than that, everyone's fully evolved. I am going to give you the, um... EXP share.
But yeah, no, it, it, it's a snail fortress and it's pretty cool. Miss. Awesome. One shot. Close. Don't flinch. And of course you have to flinch. Blunder Fowl, I despise you. You don't even have Serene Grace. Oh, my hands hurt. But see, th this is a pretty good grinding spot. I kind of wish they would have gave this to us a little bit earlier, but better late than never, I guess. Ah, uh, thanks, Zeta. Get that nice Moxie boost, which I don't think is gonna help us. We're, we're pretty much probably gonna die to this thing, so we're just gonna, uh, just gonna swap out. Cause our sheep should evolve at 45 too, I'm hoping. I think that's when it evolves. 45, 48, something like that. It's a pretty late evolution. And Hot Terra gains almost a level. Hmm, I expect a bug bite to do more than that. Got a nice moxie boost. Gain a level. And we beat Theo. Alright, with that being said though, guys, we've been going for about almost three and a half hours. We did a lot of stuff today. I think I'm gonna call it a stream there because I'm getting incredibly, one, tired, and two, my voice is starting to give from talking so much. What I'm going to do to kind of speed this up so we're ready for next time, I'm gonna grind everyone up to... At least 44, I won't evolve Onyx off sc screen. So Onyx, I'll get close enough to evolving everyone else. I will hit 45 so we can, you know, move on from the grinding so we don't have to sit there for another 20 or so minutes grinding on Theo next stream. I appreciate everyone for coming. Thank you for watching the stream. In the next episode, we're going to head up north for the next stream. I might possibly be streaming tomorrow at about the same time. Anyway, from like 5 to 7. I haven't decided yet. Anyways, I've been Umbreon on Moonlight. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next stream. Hope everyone has a good night.